thinking about a monopoly firm, let's suppose the market demand decreases. So here we have our firm. They're producing Q star and they're charging P star. And now they experience a decrease in market demand. Well, because market demand has decreased, we're also going to see a decrease in marginal revenue. It's going to have the same intercept as my new demand curve, but it's going to swivel in. Now my new marginal revenue curve will cross marginal cost at a new Q star. We'll call this Q2 star. We'll go up to our new demand and over and charge P star, or P2 star, I should say. So we notice that when demand decreased, this firm's optimal quantity fell, this firm's price also fell, and this firm's average total cost rose. Right? If you look at the average total cost curve at Q star and Q2 star, you see we moved up and to the left. So for these three reasons, the monopolist will earn less of a profit when they're faced with a decrease in market demand. Suppose instead this firm's marginal costs rise. Same graph that we're starting with, but now we're shifting marginal cost upward. It's going to cross marginal revenue at a new Q star. We're going to still go up to our same demand curve and over to find our new P star. So in this case, we see that the firm's optimal level of output has fallen, but because they're producing less and demand hasn't changed, their price rises. We also are moving up and to the left on our average total cost curve. Now, since this is the elastic portion of the demand curve, we know that total revenue is going to fall. 